the state wrestling tournament is back at the Schottenstein Center this weekend, beginning on Friday with the championship matches scheduled for Sunday evening. Now, COVID canceled the state meet in 2020. Last season, each of the three divisions wrestled at separate Central Ohio high schools. Four Clay Eagles will be in action, and they are excited to take shots at the shot. Absolutely. That's the greatest venue that we could ever have, uh, um, you know, had for wrestling. I've been around when it was in St. John's, and as it moved to Cincinnati Gardens, through Wright State, to the shot, and when we got in the shot, it was unbelievably, it's great, because we could have double elimination tournament. I wrestled there my freshman year. Um, you know, it was a great experience. Uh, it's definitely going to be fun going back there. The success of the state wrestling tournament in the shot is one of the factors behind the state basketball tournaments moving to Dayton. States from all around the country, Iowa included, they come to watch that tournament because of the pageantry and the way it's put on. They, they, they try to imitate it, and it's awesome. The, when I was on the Coaches Association for the state, we, we averaged like 125,000 paid spectators. Um, so it's full. I mean, tickets are hard to get. So it's just great, the atmosphere, the loud, and everybody's there cheering. It's unbelievable. Senior Ty Cobb scored an upset win Saturday in the 215-pound district finals, outpointing St. Ed's Zach Del Santer 5-2. Great, great match from Cobb. Yeah, I mean, I know I just had to uh, fire off my, my leg attacks and uh, control the match. A lot of people told me there was no way he was going to beat the St. Ed's kid, the Del Santer kid, and I said, well, let's just wait and see. And, and he took it to that kid. He's wrestling really well. It's the best that we've seen him wrestle in a long time. Um, he's working hard. His weight's great. Um, he's athletic. I, I think that he's got a really, really good chance. Now, you know, it takes a little bit of luck, but we believe in making our own luck in this room. Cobb will continue his wrestling career at Finley next year. Junior Micah Medina and senior Domenico Migliori placed third at 113 and 165 pounds, respectively, while junior Candio de Luna also qualified at 106 pounds. That third place finish motivating Medina to do even better this week. I, I say it fuels me, um, that, but the semifinals match when I lost to the Eds kid, I feel like that's going to motivate me the most. We're, we're, we're competing hard, our, we're peaking at the right time, the kids are excited. Um, we're just going down there to, to leave it all on the mat, let the chips fall where they may. That's what happens at this time of year. Hey, we just got to gotta wrestle our, our match, wrestle how we, we know how to, and we'll, be, we'll do just fine. Coverly announced earlier this season that this would be his last as Clay's wrestling coach. After 34 years, he wants to spend more time with his wife. As for his Clay family, there would be nothing better than to send Coverly into retirement with some more state placers. It's uh, it's kind of bittersweet because uh, you know he's he's pushed us through so many hard practices, and you know he he always wants us to be better and uh, get better. He's been a big aspect. Um, especially when I was growing up, I grew up in the program, and so he's mentored me all the way through when I was bitty, all the way up to now, when I'm, and I'm pretty sure he'll, even when he's gone, he'll still be there next to me, all right, away for the path. He was joking around with everyone, he was like, I only stayed for one more year just to have a state champ, and I was like, why not be me?